Hey everybody, it's Blake Rutherford here, uh, outfielder from Los Angeles, California. Was drafted by the New York Yankees in 2016, traded to the uh, Chicago White Sox, and then most recently played with the Washington Nationals, and this is what's in my baseball bag. With the 18th selection in the 2016 MLB draft, the New York Yankees select Blake Rutherford, an outfielder from Chaminade Prep High School in Canoga Park, California. We're taking Blake Rutherford, center fielder from uh, uh, high school center fielder from California. Is this Blake? Hey, Bobby D. Jordan with the Yankees. How are you, buddy? Good. Congratulations, bud. You're a Yankee. There it is! First big league hit. Vargas will be held at third. The entire at bat, Blake Rutherford was trying to go that way, and he's finally got that first knock. Waits on the breaking ball. Perfectly located. Jake Alou, he was digging for third. He made a good decision because Butler did a great job of charging that ball. He went two for three with a walk, and that's oh. well placed. Well done for Blake, who now has base hits in three of his last. Base hit, left side. Garrett scores. Here comes Jake Alou. Throw home, way late. The scrappy <laughs> Nets are back to within two. Blake Rutherford chops one, and Alec Bone can't cleanly glove that do or die bouncer. Staying with the righty against Rutherford here, and Blake is going to have a major league best. For January's giveaway, I am giving away another pair of 100% sunglasses, but they are the Hypercrafts. And all you have to do to win these is gonna be the same thing as last month. You have to one, be subscribed to the channel. Two, like this video. Three, leave a comment down below. Four, watch this video all the way through to the end and do that for every video in the month of January and the winner will be announced on February 2nd. Here are all the dates that will be dropping videos. Be sure to follow all the rules to be entered into the giveaway and best of luck. So let's start with uh, my baseball bats. This bat's pretty special. It's uh, from the Little League World Series game this past year when the Nationals played the Phillies. Victus made guys uh, some special bats and this is the one I got. It's a uh, 33 and a half, 30 and a half. It's got a cool design. Uh, custom made by the Bat King, if you guys know who that is with Victus. Uh, he's awesome, makes awesome bats. And uh, it was a really cool game and really special bat and uh, one of them I'll keep forever. Um, my game bat usually is, is also a Victus. Uh, it's the V243 model. It's maple, um, 33 and a half, 30 and a half. Um, I keep it pretty generic with my colors. Sometimes I'll change it up, but um, this is just all black uh, with the silver shiny label. Um, I like this bat, it's, it's even. Um, Victus is known for having good wood. Um, and I just kind of always have swung Victus and got back to it this year. And uh, I'm just really happy with the bats. The last bat I sometimes use is um, actually my butter my, my buddy Mike Adolfo's. Uh, this is a Chandler. Uh, it's his own model, uh, the Micro Adolfo 40. It's a little bit bigger, 33 and a half, same length, but 31 and a half is the weight. Um, again, an even bat. I'm more of an even bat guy. Uh, I don't really like top heavy or bottom heavy. Um, this one has a lizard skin grip on it. Uh, cool colors, obviously the gold Chandler label. Um, but those are kind of the bats I use and stick with. Um, just my preference for sure. Um, next, we'll go to uh, my gloves. Um, I love Rawlings. I've used all different gloves. I've used Easton. Um, this is one of my custom Rawlings gloves. Obviously it has uh, navy blue and gray. Some of my favorite colors. Uh, my last name on the back. One of my favorite Bible verses on the front. Um, just good, good, it's just a good glove. I mean, Rawlings is known for great gloves. Uh, cool colorways. You can kind of do what you want with it. Um, this is another variation. Same thing, Rawlings, outfield glove, 12 and 3 fourths inch, both of them. Uh, mint and black, kind of like this colorway. I saw guys do it in the past and 
Um, just kind of liked how it looked. So this is just kind of another way to change it up a little bit and change up what you're seeing. And um, this is actually a, an infield glove, um, but I kind of use it as a trainer. Um, USA colors, kind of a cool looking glove. Um, yeah, I mean, I just kind of use it in the outfield for drills and work on catching it in the pocket. And so those are kind of the gloves that I use. Next, uh, we'll go to batting gloves. Uh, I'm a big batting, big Nike batting glove guy. Uh, I use all different kinds. Uh, these are some of the colorways I used last year. Um, these are kind of light blue, red, uh, Hirachi batting gloves, super comfortable, don't really get stiff, um, stay pretty loose. So uh, I like those batting gloves a lot. And I like these batting gloves too, the Nike Force Elite gloves. Um, just kind of like the bright colors. I feel like they pop and really comfy batting gloves. And I've worn Nike pretty much my whole life with batting gloves. And um, I mean, they're just good quality batting gloves and cool colors for sure. Um, next, we'll, we'll go down to um, kind of my accessories. I'm not a huge accessory guy, um, but this is just one of my arm sleeves. Um, it's actually a pretty special arm sleeve, uh, but it's by uh, Custom Numbered Arm Sleeves. Super, like really good quality, really good arm sleeve. Um, as you can see, I got stitching and uh, most of the sleeves I wear have stitching of uh, people that uh, may have passed away or people that are special to me. I put their initials on my arm sleeve just so um, I can always feel them with me while I'm playing. I just like it's a cool way to, to remember them and to have them with me. So um, I have DD uh, for a family friend. I have my grandparents on one, uh, my aunts on one, just anyone who's special to me that may have passed just to remember them and to honor them uh, while I play the game. Next, we'll move to some of my cleats. These are a little bit older, but uh, these are some old 4th of July cleats. Um, these are cool, just kind of, I don't know, just loud colors, but a cool cleat for sure. So uh, some old 4th of July cleats, but just kind of fun to mix it up a little bit and, and wear them around. And uh, these are another special cleat, the Nike Hirachi, but the Jackie Robinson pair. Um, love the shiny bottom. Love the colors. Cleats super comfy. Kind of feels like a sock up top, um, but just a quality shoe. Um, I'm, I'm a metal cleat guy. Usually I wear molds during this during the uh, practices or BP or um, sometimes I wear trainers. Um, but I also like wearing cleats during the game just to be able to dig in a little bit better and um, playing in the outfield just have a better grip on the grass. Um, and then these last pair of cleats is more of like my everyday pair, uh, the new Nike Hirachis. Whether it's navy blue or or black or white and gray, uh, red. I love all the different colors, but just the super comfy shoe. Uh, I've always, like I said, worn Nike everything, and I just really love their baseball stuff. I feel like it's comfy, uh, it looks good, it kind of goes with everything. They got all different colors for every color uniform. So that's kind of what I go with when it comes to uh, my cleats. This is more the everyday cleats, and the other ones are kind of spe for special days or. Um, if you want to mix it up in BP and or wear something loud. Um, and then last but not least, uh, these are just kind of one of my pairs of trainers that I wear. I uh, love Kobe's. These are just one of my pair of Kobe's, the undefeated. Um, Kobe was awesome. Um, I mean, a lot of people looked up to him. Uh, a lot of people use the Mamba mentality as a thing, but I just kind of love the Kobe's. I feel like they're comfortable. They look cool. Uh, they look good. and. Um, I didn't start collecting Kobe's till a little bit later, but it's definitely one of my favorite shoes, shoes to train in, uh, to hit BP in, or um, just to kind of work out in the weight room with. So that's some of my stuff that's in my baseball bag. Um, you saw my bats, my gloves, my cleats, batting gloves, accessories, trainers. Um, that's kind of everything I wear and everything I use, and um, I love all of them, and uh, looking forward to sharing it with you.